Okay, desk update time again, since I've got new stuff. This time I will only be changing two things. As usual, I won't be fluffing the video up in any way, so let's get to the first immediately, shall we? This is my mic. It's an Audio-Technica ATR2500 USB. I got it back in 2015 and I bought it because I needed a condenser mic to take my music home recording to the next level. Since I got it, it's always been the mic that I've used whenever I needed something recorded. Voiceovers? Check. Talkies in front of the mic? Check. Game comms? Check. Streaming? Skype calls? Recording my acoustic guitar? Check, check, and check. But since I got it, two things about it have always bothered me. There's this obnoxious blue light at the front, and its anti-shock mount and pop filter assembly is too large. It gets in the way of everything. So I bought this smaller shock mount and recording shield from Shopee just to get it down to a smaller, more comfortable footprint. I will also be covering up the blue light on the front with some Sharpie just to get a cleaner look. So let's go do it now, shall we? First step is to cover up the light with some Sharpie. I know I can do this by unsoldering the lead inside the mic, but I don't want to risk ruining the mic just for the sake of aesthetics. Yeah, that looks better now. Next up is to remove the old shock mount from the arm and install the new shock mount. See, that's way smaller than the old one. Lastly, we gotta put on the recording shield, so my plosives won't ruin your ears, and my VOs like the one you're hearing right now will always be silky smooth. Voila, a smaller footprint for my mic. I will add shopping links to everything on my mic setup in the description of this video. Moving on. The second one I'm changing out in my setup is this TV. Yes, I know gaming and working on a TV is not recommended, but it's what I had. And it's what I've been doing for the last 6 years. But that's about to stop. Thanks to my friends from Asus and NVIDIA Philippines, I now have this. This is the Asus Tough VG27A 27-inch 2560x1440 gaming monitor. I know it's smaller than my 32-inch TV, but it's got a higher resolution IPS panel, it can run up to 165Hz with a 1 millisecond response time, it's HDR compatible, and of course it's got G-Sync. Not that I'll be able to use that feature anytime soon since I recently kind of killed my GTX 1070 because of 3D work, so I'm back to using my old and kind of broken GTX 960 and I currently don't have any money to buy a new GPU yet, so yeah. I'll see if I can borrow a better GPU from a friend just to get those frame rates up on this monitor. So let's get this set up on the wall, shall we? First step is to remove the TV, which seems kind of stupid because I just went through all this effort in the last episode just to wall mount it but I will be wall mounting the Asus monitor too, so it's not all stupid on my side. A little cleanup of the cable management here and there, and we're good to go to install the Asus monitor. One thing to note though, my wall mount is for TVs and monitors with flat backs. Unfortunately, the VESA mount screw holes on the Asus monitor are recessed into the body, and the screws are very short. But another thing to note is that I'm smart. I've already prepared for this. I bought these longer screws and washers just to be able to mount the monitor on the TV rack. So let's hang it up on the wall. Of course, I have to keep those cables tidy after installing the monitor. Let's get the PC going. looks good. I will be releasing a full review of this Asus Tough VG27A monitor, so subscribe to my channel if you would like to see that. Once again, a big thank you to my friends from Asus and NVIDIA Philippines for this monitor. No more TV gaming for me. And there you have it. 
a small microphone upgrade, and a huge monitor upgrade. And that concludes desk update part 2. I think the next updates to the setup will take a bit longer, but still, stay tuned to my channel so that you don't miss it. My last video was my unboxing of the Halo GT1 wireless earbuds. Have you seen it yet? Here's a link. You might want to watch it. That's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!